TCS is the one of the most famous companies by IT professionals owning to be its collaborative and supportive culture. Worldwide recognition as a global leader in the IT sector, TCS every year provides diverse job opportunities for applicants in various fields. To nail the opportunity at TCS, applicant must embrace up the most challenging TCS interview questions with strategic preparation and consistent practice. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video by Simply Learn. This is Anubhav and in this video we will see the TCS interview questions. But before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you will never miss any update from Simply Learn. So without further ado, let's begin and see what's in it for you. First, we'll see the introduction to TCS all about the company. Moving ahead, we'll see the TCS recruitment process. After that, We'll see the academic criteria for TCS. Moving ahead, we'll discuss about the TCS NQT exam. After that, we'll see some interview questions that are asked in the technical interview. Moving ahead, we'll see the TCS HR interview questions. And after that, we'll see the TCS interview preparation tips. And then in last, we'll see some frequently asked questions. TCS was found in 1968 by Tata Sons. TCS is headquartered in Mumbai and is one of the top multinational information technological companies globally. It operates in a vast number of locations across 46 countries and was ranked 64th in the Forbes World Most Innovative Companies ranked in 2015. It is one of the largest Indian companies in terms of market capitalization. In 2021, TCS recorded a market capitalization of 200 million, making it the first Indian company to do so. Many well-qualified candidates want to land a job at TCS because the latter provides a vast number of employee benefits, including health insurance, taking a sabbatical and an environment for learning the right kind of skills while balancing their professional and personal lives. Here are the key stats about TCS. TCS venue of more than 26 billion in 2022, raised a net income of 5 million in 2022 and has an operating income of 6.8 billion as of 2022. Employed more than 5,30,000 people as of December 2021. Now, we'll see the TCS recruitment process. First, there is a written exam. The time allotted for the written test is 60 minutes and is consists for four sections. Quantitative aptitude, programming language efficiency, coding test and an email writing. After that, there will be a technical interview. Basic questions based on the resume, branch or specification and professional skills are asked, among with a few tricky ones. After that, there will be a manager round. In this round, questions asked are depend on the interviewer and the range are generally technical and HR questions to puzzle questions to get your reaction. After that, there will be an HR interview. It is the final round of the recruitment process. Apart from the usual HR interview questions like strengths and weaknesses, hobbies and background etc. Questions on work experience and educational background can be expected. Moving ahead, let's see the academic criteria for this round. Eligible candidate needs to have a minimum of 60% result throughout their degree with no black logs. A gap of two years in the career is permissible, provided a valid explanation. Now, let's discuss about the TCS NQT exam. TCS NQT, what is NQT? NQT stands for National Qualification Test. TCS NQT follows an integrated test pattern for both Ninja and digital freshers hiring at TCS. 
Candidate needs to appear for a single test on based on their performance, they will qualify for either Ninja or Digital interviews. You must apply for the TCS NQT exam because it is very helpful for you because it will give you so many opportunities to get a job, get an interview. So you must apply for this TCS NQT exam and land a good job. Now. We will discuss some TCS interview questions. First one is define socket programming in Java. Java application operations on multiple JREs can communicate with one another using socket programming. Either connection oriented or connectionless can apply. Generally speaking, a socket is a method of connecting a client to the server. You can only communicate updated information between devices. Now, let's move on to the next question. Mention the four basic principles of OOPS. There are four basic principles in object-oriented programming. The first one is inheritance. Basing an object or class upon another class or object. Abstraction. Selecting data from a pool to show only the relevant detail to the object. Encapsulation. Wrapping data in a single unit. And polyformism. Allowing using class exactly like its parent to avoid confusion. The next one is. List the differences and similarities between C and C++. First. C is a programming language that is procedural and on the other hand, C++ supports both functional and object-oriented programming. C is regarded as a subset of C++ and C++ is through to be a subset of C. C works from the top to down and C++ is built using the bottom-up approach. Inheritance, polyformism and data encapsulation are not supported in C and on the other hand, inheritance, polyformism, data encapsulation and abstraction are all supported in C++. Let's move on to the next question. What is inheritance? In inheritance, one class can gain a property from another class through inheritance. For instance, a child acquires the characteristics of his or her parents. We may reuse the field and methods for the executing class thanks to inheritance. As a result, inheritance increases reusability and a key oops concept. The next question we will discuss is Explain the functionalities of the linked list. The link element name first is present in the link list. A data field or fields and the link field name next are carried from each link. Each link is connected to the one after it using the one after it. To indicate the end of the list, the last link carries a link that is null. Now, let's move on to the next question. What are loops? Loops by name itself means it's doing a task again and again. A for loop repeats itself a certain amount of time and a while loop repeats continuously while an expression is true. A statement with a value is known as an expression. An expression is repeated in a do while or repeat till loop until it is for. Now, let's move on to the next question which is what is cloud computing? A cloud computing is a delivery of computing services including servers, storage devices, databases, networking, software, analytics, and intelligence over the internet to offer faster innovation, flexibility resources, and economics of scale. You typically pay only for cloud services you use, helping lower your operating cost run your infrastructure more efficiently and scale as the business need change. Now, let's move on to the next question. What are aggregate functions in SQL? 
Aggregate function relies on a set of values to return a single value. Following are the some SQL aggregate functions. The first one is average. Average function gives the average of a set. The next one is minimum. MIN give function gives the minimum value of the set. The third one is the count function. It returns the number of items in a set. The fourth one is max function. It returns the maximum value. And the last one is the sum function, which returns the sum of the distinct or all values in a set. Now, let's move on to the next question. What is a database management system? Database management system is a software for managing the entire organization's data, including its proper storage and presentation whenever required for business decisions. Here are a few examples of databases. There are MySQL, Oracle, FileMaker and Microsoft Access. Now let's move on to the next question, which is differentiate between RDBMS and DBMS. RDBMS stands for Relational Database Management System and DBMS stands for the Database Management System. In database, the data is stored as a file and in RDBMS, data is stored in a form of tables. Now, let's move on to the next question, which is explain about joins, views, normalization and triggers. After that, differentiate between the foreign key and reference key. Here are few more questions that are frequently asked in the TCS interviews. You can easily get the answers for these and if you want more questions, you can refer to our article on TCS interview questions. There, you will find more than 50 plus questions and everything you need to know. The link will be in the description box of this video. You can have a look. Moving ahead, let's go on to the TCS HR interview questions. The first one is, what do you think about this role? These questions are regularly asked in the HR rounds. The best way to answer this, many people apply for many jobs at the same time. So demonstrate the interviewer that you are appreciating the role completely. Investigate the typical responsibilities of the role. Then consider how you are suitable or if you have the trade or talent and the ability that qualifies you for this position. State the difference between hard work and smart work. Hard work is putting a great deal of effort into getting a job done. And on the other hand, smart work is focusing your time and efforts on high impact activities and doing them well. Now. Let's move on to the next question. The next question is, tell me about a time you had to correct someone's mistake. An interview art question such as this is to discover how you manage obstacles, identify your shortcomings and, and assess whether you have what it takes to accomplish the job properly. You want to be candid in your responses. But you also want to convey a positive story about how a mistake helped you become a better job applicant. The next question is, what are your long term goals? This question is always asked in the round. So the best way to answer this, my long term goal are to gain as much experience in the field as possible. In addition, I plan on using what I have learned from my previous work experience over the several years in order to move into a senior position. This way, I will be better equipped for promotion opportunities when they arrive. As such, having a long term focus is incredibly important for me at this point in my career. The next question would be, tell me about your greatest professional accomplishments. The interviewer wants you to tell them about your recent accomplishment in your career. Remember, when interviewing for a job, you are expected to sell yourself. 
so do it efficiently now we'll move on to the next part of this the tcs interview preparation answering tcs interview questions confidently requires an intense and strategic prior preparation the candidates are advised to learn as much as they can about the company to be able to respond suitably to the question based on the company's requirements now i will tell you some tcs interview preparation tips first do your research about the company this is a very important aspect or to apply for a company or a role in a company you have to research about the company thoroughly the next step is develop a practice of explaining your approach you can explain your approach to your friend or someone but explaining your approach is very important because in the interview you must show your ability to explain your approach to the manager or the interviewer the next part is practice the best approach to answer you can take the help from our videos on simply learn channel or you can take the help from anywhere on youtube the next and final step is to enroll for mock interviews to boost your confidence this is also very important for your preparations enrolling on the mock interviews are very easy these days you can enroll yourself in the mock interview and you can boost your confidence now let's see the frequently asked questions the first one is does tcs nqt have coding questions the answer is yes tcs nqt has coding questions which you can attempt in any of the five languages given by tcs including java python and perl the next question is who is eligible for tcs nqt the full time graduates in be btech mtech or me with 60% throughout your academics including 10th 12th ug and pg courses are eligible for tcs nqt what is the salary for freshers in tcs according to ambition box the average salary for freshers in tcs range from 1.6 lakhs to 3.6 lakh per year the next question is what kind of coding questions are asked in tcs the tcs coding section consists of problems on arrays numbers sorting strings and number system the next question is what are the basic questions asked in tcs interview questions regarding your resume skill set and education and family background are some of the basic questions asked in the tcs interview what is tcs ninja it is a job role offered by tcs to fresh recruiters who are mapped to a unit based on their tcs explorer program performance The next question is how many rounds of interviews are there in TCS The TCS recruitment process consists of four round that candidate needs to clear before moving to the final step The next question are asked is is the TCS interview tough for experienced The answer would be the TCS interview is not easy but it is not tough to crack for the experienced candidate with a right and strategic preparation now if you want more questions you can refer to our article to tcs interview questions there you will find more than 50 questions and everything you need to know the link of the article will be in the description box you can refer that and you will find everything you need to know about tcs interview questions So with this we have reached the end of this video if you find this video informative please like and comment and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you
Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.